This is a green screen, right? Huh? I know. Wouldn't it be cool, though, to travel like this through space? Yeah, it would be cool, but it would take years to get this far. Uh -uh, not mm. if we used hyperdrive. Hyperdrive hasn't been invented yet. What? Yeah. I mean, right now it takes three days to get to the moon. Three days? Mm -hmm. But the moon looks so close. I mean, we don't even have to use a telescope to see it. Yeah, no, space is really big. Look, I think I have a way that I can show you how big space really is. But you have to take the suit off. Aww. Can I leave the helmet on? Okay, Tony, let me see your palm. Okay. So let's imagine that this is the Earth, and this little guy is the moon. What, these little beads? Mm-hmm. So if the Earth and the moon were this size, mm -hmm. then they would be, let's see the ruler. Okay. Eight inches apart. Okay. Oh, all right. So if that's the case, then this beach ball yes. represents the sun. Wow, sun is big. Yeah, and if the sun is here, mm -hmm. then the Earth and the moon are... What, all the way over there? Oh yeah, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be here. All the way over here! But all I can see are the flags. I know, it's so far! I'm gonna leave the Earth and the moon here! Gosh, that's far. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, so astronomers call the distance from the Earth to the Sun an astronomical unit, or AU for short. Okay, so the Earth is one AU from the Sun. Mm-hmm. And the Moon is 0 0.00256 AU from the Earth. Okay, so it takes three days to travel eight inches? Yeah. Distances in the solar system are very large. All right, so what's the next closest planet? That would be Venus, right? Yes, okay, come here. Let's leave this here. All right. And come with me. Okay, let's go. So this represents Venus, and Venus is 0 0.723 AU from the sun. So Venus is one minus 0 0.723, and that would be 0 0.277, okay. That's 108 times farther than the moon. And remember, planets are orbiting the sun, so the distances between them change constantly. So if Venus and the Earth are on the same side of the sun, mm -hmm. then you would subtract Venus's distance from the Earth's. Okay, but sometimes Venus is on the other side of the sun. Right. So what, you just add the two distances together? Well, let's go and find out. Okay. Come on, Venus. <laughs> let's go. Okay, right. I feel like we're getting closer. We're getting close. So we Finally. are now going 0.723 AU in this direction from the sun. Boop, 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 boop. Let's put Venus in the stand here mm -hmm. so we can see where it is. Yep, now the distance between Venus and the Earth on that side would be 1.723 AU. Huh. Gosh, that is 673 times farther than the moon. Yeah. It would take five and a half years to get to. I told you, space is big. You know what? I think I'm gonna wait to book my tickets. Book your tickets? Yeah, to Venus. Well, until they've invented hyperdrive, that is, because mm. I wanna visit all the planets. Yeah, you keep dreaming, Tony. Okay, thanks, Enid. Mm-hmm. Wait, what you mean? <laughs> 